What is up, Packer fans? This is Coach Hahn here with you in the film room doing a little segment I call the good, the bad, and the ugly as we take a look back at Green Bay's pretty dominant victory over the Texans this past week. Uh, we'll highlight a couple of plays where things went really, really well, or at least little parts of the play went very well. And then we'll take a look at some things that definitely have to clean up and practice in the bad portion, and then an area of concern as well in the ugly portion. So let's get started with this right away. We'll see it's the first quarter, 233 left. Green Bay's got the ball in 12 personnel, meaning they got a couple of tight ends in the game and one running back. Second and eight, they're going to throw it here. Houston's going to dial up some pressure. They were blitzing pretty heavy early on, taking a pay a page, excuse me, out of the Bucks playbook, um, hoping to get some pressure on Rodgers. And we're going to see a tremendous improvement from the offensive line, and more specifically, this dude right here, Jamal Williams. So as I roll this tape forward just a little bit, I'd like you to snap your eyes to the left tackle before we talk about Jamal Williams. This is Billy Turner. Okay, <laughs> He's starting here at left tackle. Obviously, Bakhtiari's injured. He's 6'5", 3'10". Hey, he's a big dude. Look at him cover this ground. Oh, yeah, big man. Go get that money. That's a really, really good rep from a left tackle with a wide nine washing up the field and somebody as crafty and, and speedy as J.J. Watt. But that's not what I want you to really pay attention to. Watch Jamal Williams here. Look at this dude. Stone walls. An inside linebacker loses the helmet, continues the fight. This is a pretty sneaky good blitz here by Houston and Jamal Williams meets dude in the hole. Check that out. Folds him backwards. Makes his back look like a lowercase backwards letter C. That's incredible. Look how fired up he is. I love that. Just straight up inject Jamal Williams blitz pickups into my veins because he had a lot this game. He has done an outstanding job as a pass protection blocker. Obviously, Rodgers gets it on a little dig to Devontae Adams. Go pick up that first down. So right here, again, this is a really good blitz by the Texans, understanding that they're going to have some man slide protection here. So you're going to see the right tackle and the tight end wash up, and they're going to sneak a man unblocked into this right side B gap. But I want you to watch Williams here because they're bringing heat, right? Williams is going to come in and block two. Now, I understand we have an unblocked defender here. That's not good. Rodgers knows he has to throw that fade, that outside release fade to Devonta. He's got to throw it hot. But Williams comes in and picks up two dudes, keeping that pocket really clean for Rodgers on the left-hand side. Very well done by Jamal Williams. I love that dude. I mean, give me a, a guy like that in a running back room or an offensive line film room who can block, who dedicates his time to it, who really takes a lot of pride in it. Just a passionate dude, right? He's just all fun fired up, all jacked up. I love to see it. So that's the good. And obviously that's just a couple of quote unquote good plays. There were good plays abundantly all around, but those are just a few I noticed. The bad plays I noticed started, uh, we had one in the second quarter and then one again here in the fourth. This is Corey Lindsley. He's a pretty veteran center. He's a smart, smart, smart dude. It's third and one here. The Texans are trying to mount that little bit of a comeback that they put on towards the end of the game. You pick this up, it could be lights out. You know, it's 13 minutes left in the game. You can take a couple of minutes off with another drive, and that could be it. Rodgers is going to go hard count here, and Lindsey's going to snap it. And that's the second time that that's happened. Earlier in the second quarter, Rodgers was in shotgun trying to get a hard count, and Lindsey snapped it, and Rodgers had to catch it off of his hip and fire it over the head of Adams before anything happened negatively. Rodgers does a hard count. Obviously, he wants the free play. He wants the five yards, but he also gains a ton of useful information. Look, they got nine up here in the box trying to stop the run. Rodgers wants to see with the hard count if anybody's going to bail, you know, if anybody's going to, so that he can flip the formation or or, or flip the run. Um, he could Omaha it, but, you know, so he's going to get a lot of valuable information. That's why he hard counts. And Lindsey's going to snap the ball. And you're going to see the entire right side of the offensive line not be ready for it. They know it's a hard count. He's going to go ahead and snap the ball. It's going to put Jamal Williams in a really tough spot as we watch J.J. Watt come off the edge unblocked. Because obviously your right tackle is laid off the ball. You know, that's that's not good at all. We do not want that happening. So they got to definitely get that all figured out in the film room for sure this week. Um, 
that'll be a, a lot of practice reps, you know, and, and Corey Lindsley knows it right here. You'll see him, you'll see Rogers get all fired up in the backfield, yelling at him. And Lindsay here, 63, he's going to throw his hands over his head. He knows, he knows he didn't do that right. Uh, so look for that to get cleaned up by next week. And now before we get into the ugly portion, and I know I've kind of got a little screen grab here of it, so you probably know what's coming, but give me just two seconds real quick to say, Everybody get on Patreon. It's really, really easy. So it takes me like maybe 10 minutes total to make these videos. It's super easy for me to do it, but it takes Ryan uh, from Packernet quite a while to crop them, to, to make me sound intelligent, to post them in all the different platforms, all that sort of stuff. It takes a lot of time for him. And obviously he's working full time. He's trying to support his family and that sort of stuff. So if we can all get on Patreon and just give dude like five, 10 bucks a month, it's easy. Okay. If you give buddy five bucks a month, that's one less bush light tall boy down at the bowling alley as he watched the pack a month, you can do that. Get on Patreon, give him five bucks a month. If we all come together, he can start doing this more and more and then give us this kind of content that we all really enjoy. So at least consider getting on Patreon and getting Ryan some money. Here, we're going to watch this punt. You, you're probably guessing that it's going to be the block punt um, that occurred in the, four, the fourth quarter that is the ugly, and you've guessed right. But we're going to take a look at the second quarter here, and we're going to watch the right wing backup running back Dexter Williams, number 22 on this play. This is why it's so important, why coaches always emphasize, don't worry about the result of the play, worry about doing your job. Because J.K. Scott is gonna just straight up bomb this. The end result of the play is a very good result for Green Bay. However, you know the Texans were watching this. They got this in film, they saw that Dexter Williams here, he's supposed to hold a heavy outside shoulder and make this entire rush come up and around the long angle so he can never get there in time, okay? Houston bails off of this. They're not bringing pressure, but I guarantee those headsets were buzzing on the sideline, and they were saying, hey, next time we're in this situation, let's bring pressure off of the offensive right, the defensive left side, because this kid's given us a soft shoulder. We can get a line to the punter, okay? And so on goes J.K. Scott. He hits just an absolute dime. I mean, bombs it. They get it down at the two. So all of us are like, oh, cool. Yeah, great play. Nice job. OK, now here in the fourth, this is that block punt I was telling you about. Here's 22 Dexter Williams. OK, and as this rush comes through, he's going to give that soft shoulder and just get I mean, this is not good. He gets ragdolled. He gets just put right through a blender on that one. And that punt is blocked. And that's a big momentum shift for Houston. That's a that's a tough play to recover from. Green Bay did, obviously, but they're going to need some work in special teams. I did notice a little bit later in the game that all of a sudden Jamal Williams, number 30, was that right wing on punt the last time that Green Bay had to punt. So I did notice a personnel change in that, but this has to get fixed right away in practice because you know opponents are getting this film and they're going to be taking a look at that and making sure that they can get some pressure on J.K. Scott as well. So thanks for taking the time to take a look at this. My name is Coach Hahn. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Coach Hahn. Shoot me out some questions, some things that you want to see or, or um, want to have explained a little bit, and I'll do my best to do that. Also, consider supporting Ryan on Patreon at Packernet. He is Pack Daddy on Patreon, so give him a couple of bucks a month um, so that we can continue to push this content out, or he can continue to push this content out and give us what we need. Thanks for viewing the video. I hope to see you all soon.